Assalamu alaikum class. In this lecture, we will learn about the remaining MCQs from the topical uh, past papers. We will start from the MCQ number 41. The diagram shows a strange micrometer scale viewed through an eye piece containing a reticule. The small dimensions of the strange micrometer scale are 0.1 millimeter. They are 0.1 millimeter. As we can see here, this is a 0.1 millimeter, right? The stage micrometer scale is replaced by a slide of a plant cell. What is the length of the nucleus in the plant cell? When we calculate it, then it comes out to be 25 micrometer. So, option number C is correct. Which definition of the magnification of a drawing of a leaf is correct? The actual size of an object multiplied by the magnification of the microscope. No, it cannot be. The difference in the size between an actual object and a drawing of the object. No. The increase in the size of an object when observed using a microscope. No. The size of the drawing of a specimen in comparison to the actual size. Yes. Option number D is correct one. Which lengths are equal to the 1 micron meter? Whenever we have to do that particular uh, uh, diagrams and we find out that then we can uh, we, we can do these measurements and we find out that one micrometer is equal to one into ten ten to the power six my millimeter and uh, it is not it cannot be it cannot be whenever we have we have to calculate all this calculation and find out that the three point three and that of 0.6 are the most accurate one. So we find out that option number B is correct here. The recently discovered pendo virus measures 1000 nanometer in di diameter and the mini virus has a diameter of 400 nanometer. Uh, what can be detected using a light microscope with a maximum resolution of 0.25 micron meter? Micron meter is the resolution till 10 raised to the power minus 6 of a meter and nanometer is 10 raised to the power minus 9 of a meter. Yeah. It is more small. But we can measure all of them through the light microscope. So answer number A is correct. Both the mini virus and the pandovirus can be detected with this. The diagram shows an eyepiece reticule in a part of a stage micrometer scale as seen using the 100 times magnification. This is the eyepiece reticule and this is the stage micrometer scale and we can see here the whole length of the eyepiece reticule is equal to the 0.1 millimeter in this magnification. How is the value in micrometer of one eyepiece reticule unit is calculated? First of all, we will divide. We have to read out all the options and we find out that option number C is correct as we have the single um, single measurement is 0.1 millimeter and we will multiply this point. Firstly, we have to convert this millimeter into micrometer. We will multiply it into the th by 1000 and then divide by 100 100 because we have we have the 100 divisions in the ip reticule here they are the 100 divisions that's why so option number c is correct here which side of the measurements is correct diameter of the capillary diameter of the red blood cells and the thickness of the cell surface membrane of the red blood cells they all are seven uh, they all are comes out to be in the seven variant and we have to find out the which unit is correct in the both cases so we find out here that option number e is correct here capillary diameter diameter of the capillary is too small that it is measured in the micron meter that is a 10 raised to the power minus 6 of a meter 
and the nanometer it is smaller than both of them so it is measured in the 10 to the power minus 9 meters so option number A is correct in this case the size of the measles virus is approximately 150 nanometer the mimi virus is approximately 4 by 5 times larger than that of the measles virus while the pendo virus is approximately 1.5 times larger than that of the mimi virus which viruses can be seen using the both a light microscope with a maximum resolution of 0.25 micron meter and an electron microscope in this case measles virus is very small it cannot be seen with this magnification so we find out here that option number b is correct measles virus cannot be detected but new virus and the pendo viruses can be detected with this magnification power which equation for calculating the actual size of a specimen a or the image size or the magnification is correct which formula is correct here? and we find out that this one is the correct one so option number as we have read it earlier in the uh, syllabus option number d is correct here. now move towards the mcq number 49 which statement about the light microscope is correct as the smallest distance to see the two points as distant separate points decreases the resolution also decreases no it is not related to this if the resolution is 220 nanometer then a bacterium 0.2 micrometer in diameter will not be visible yes it can be because the size of the bacterium is not related to the resolution If the wavelength of the light is all of the two are unruled and the option will be is correct. The diagram shows a stage micrometer scale viewed with an eyepiece reticule using a magnification of 200 times. Using the same magnification, a chloroplast is measured as 4 IP reticule means long. How long is the chloroplast? It comes out to be 1 into 10, 10 raised to the power 1 micron meter in diameter. A student has drawn a cell structure as seen using a light microscope. The magnification of drawing is 600. A student has drawn a cell structure. As seen using a light microscope, the magnification of the drawing is 600 times. 600 times, right? The length of the structure on the drawing is 6 millimeter. Magnification and the drawing length is about the actual length of the cell structure is here. So we have to find out it with the formula. Magnification is equal to image size. What is the image image size by actual size? Magnification here is 600 and the uh, image size is 6 and we have to find give the resultant in micron meter so we will divide it with 1000 so when we will calculate the image comes out to be 1 into 10 10 raised to the power 1 micron meter that option number C is correct here The drawing from an electron micrograph shows a ciliated epithelial cell magnified 1500 times which is found in the trachea. Line XY shows the widest dimension of the cell. What is the number of these cells that could be found along a 1 cm length of the trachea? There can be 500 cells can be viewed with this. A student was presented with a photomicrograph of a cell organelle. The magnification of the photomicrograph is known. So, which calculation of the actual length of the organelle in the micrometer is correct? Image size in centimeter. No, it is not related. We have to find out the related image size in the centimeter. Uh, multiply by thousand divided by the magnification. Yes, it can be. So, option number B, C is correct here.
an ips grade q can be calibrated using a stage micrometer using a stage micrometer what is the correct reason why an ips reticule is calibrated an ips reticule can be used to make measurements yes an ips reticule is magnified by the objective lens so its magnification is not related to the objective lens an ips reticule magnifies the specimen an ips reticule makes the comparisons they are unruled so the option number a is the correct here The diagram shows a transfer section through a blood capillary. The this is the wall of the endothelium. This is the lumen. Basically, this is the structure of a blood capillary, right? Which is viewed, which is find out to be seven micrometer in diameter. So, what is the magnification of the drawing? How was uh, magnified? We will uh, that particular blood capillary so that we can find out that it comes out to be seven micrometer. so if we will use a 5000 times magnifications then we find out that this particular blood capillary to be some like a meter in diameter until recently the typical virus stone to size were 20 to 150 nanometer in size uh, in 2003 the mini virus was discovered with a size of approximately 680 nanometer and in 2013 the pendo virus was discovered which has a size of over 1000 nanometer which viruses can be seen using both light microscope and with a maximum resolution of 0.25 micrometer and with an electron microscope so we will discuss all the options here typical virus can be seen no typical virus can not be seen because the size of the virus uh, goes on changing from day to day mini virus can be seen on when the virus can be seen yes so we find out that the option number b is the right one this electron micrograph of a section of a leaf has a magnification of 210 x what is the actual length along the xy xy is the mean Length, which is viewed through the microscope, right? So, what is the actual length of the along the? It comes out to be two fifty three micrometer. When we measure it, it comes out to be two forty three micrometer. The diagram shows a stage micrometer scale, which measures point one millimeter apart, viewed through an eyepiece containing a reticulum. So we are discussing the MCQ number fifty-eight. The diagram shows a stage micrometer scale with the deviations point one millimeter apart. These deviations are point one millimeter apart. Okay. Viewed through an eyepiece containing a reticulum. What is the area of the field of the view of the microscope at the magnification? At this particular magnification, my pi is. Three point one four, right? It's something else. So when we calculate, then it comes out to be the option number C is correct here. I'm checking number fifty nine. Which letter on the logarithmic scale corresponds to the actual size of a typical prokaryote? Because prokaryotes are too small, they are. Find out to be one micrometer in size, so we find that option number B is correct here. Which calculation is used to find the actual length of an organelle from an image? We will use this particular formula. Magnification is equals to image by actual size. And whenever we have to find out the actual length, then actual length will comes here. and magnification goes down like this so we can say that image size by magnification so option number a is correct here what are the appropriate units for measuring the diameters of the alveoli diameters of white blood cells and the 
wealth of cell walls alveoli and white blood cells are too small they cannot be measured in the millimeters or uh, meters they are measured in micrometers and the weight of the cell wall is measured in nanometer they is it is much smaller than this so we find out that the option number c is correct here The diagram shows a stage micrometer scale on which the small dimensions are 0.1 millimeter. It is viewed through an eyepiece containing a reticulum. The stage micrometer scale is replaced by a size slide of a blind cell. So, what is the width of that chloroplast in this case? In this case, we will say that the width of the chloroplast is comes out to be ten micrometer. So option number B is correct here. The electron micrograph shows a cell. This is an electron micrograph of a cell. So, what is the further question? This is through the magnification of the 700 times than that of the original size. What is the actual diameter of the nucleus? It comes out to be 6 micrometer in diameter. As we know it. What is the diameter of a typical plant cell? We have to remember it. So if we have to remember it, then we can easily find out it here. So it is 4 into 10 10, this is the power 1 micron meter. Option number A is correct here. A specimen is viewed under a microscope using the green light with a wavelength of 5 10 nanometer. If the same specimen is viewed under the same conditions but red light is used with a wavelength of 650 nanometers, in this case we can say that the wavelength is increased. Which effect will if this has on magnification on the resolution of the microscope? We can see it here. Whenever the wavelength increases, then the resolution do not have any significant interest, right? So, whenever the wavelength increases, the resolution also decreases. But the magnification remains same because it depends upon the particular. Uh, capacity of that microscope which we are going to use in our experiment. So we find out that option number C is correct here that when whenever the wavelength changes then the magnification remains same but the resolution decreases. What statement about the light microscope are correct to calculate the Magnification of a light microscope, the eyepiece lens and the objective lens are added together now. They are not added. As the magnification increases, the resolution decreases. Yes, they are indirectly, they are reciprocal to each other. They are not directly proportional. The resolution of a light microscope is limited by the wavelength of the light. Yes, it is limited. The scale on the stage micrometer is resolved more clearly than any IP critical note. So we find out that the option number C is correct. Here. Pancreatic cells have a diameter of 35 micron meter. Red blood cells have a diameter of 7000 nanometer. So which statement is correct? Whenever we convert the both uh, amounts in the same unit whether we convert it in the micrometer whether we convert them in the nanometer then we find out that the pancreatic cells are five times larger than that of the red blood cells so option number C A is correct different units are used for measuring the biological specimens which measurement in the millimeter has not been correctly converted into the both micrometer and nanometer these are the measurements in the millimeter and we have to find out that whether they are collectively converted into the micrometer or nanometer. So I find out that the option number C is correct one because these measurements are not correctly converted into other units. 
Different units are used when measuring the biological specimens. In which rows are the same measurements correctly expressed in each of the units shows in the columns headings. So we have to find out the correct option here. We will see that the this is the correct the other line one shows the correct conversions and the line two also shows the correct conversions but line three do not show the correct conversions there should be about 0 0.5 something 0 0.5 something so it rules out so the four is also the correct one so we find out that the option number b is correct here Which cell structures can form the vesicles? All structures can form the vesicles, so we find out that option number A is correct. The diagram shows the three circles, one, three, and five, representing the chloroplast, mitochondria, and typical prokaryotes. So, which row correctly identifies the three circles and some of the structures that are shared between them? Circle 1 represents chloroplast. No, it is not uh, chloroplast because it is not common in them. So, we have to read out all the options and I find out that the option number C is the correct one which means that circle 1 shows prokaryotes the simplest organisms and the, uh, the circle 2 shows the circular DNA which is uh, shared between the two ones and the uh, circle 3 shows the mitochondria which is also shared and circular DNA with uh, mitochondria sorry is not shared and the circular DNA is shared in some cases and the chloroplast is also shared in some cases so option number C is correct here which cell structures contains RNA centrioles No centrioles do not contain mitochondria has its own RNA, nucleus has its own RNA, ribosomes has its RNA. So we find out that the option number C is correct here. It is possible that it is possible the world bacterium to synthesize the eukaryotic protein. This involves the introducing a eukaryotic gene into the bacterial DNA. The eukaryotic gene is then translated by the bacteria. What explains why a bacterial cell can produce a eukaryotic protein but cannot produce a glycoprotein? Glycoprotein is basically a modification of the protein which is performed by the Golgi vesicles. As the bacteria do not have Golgi bodies, that's why it cannot perform this function. So we find out that option number D is correct here. Because bacteria do not have Golgi bodies, so it cannot produce the glycoproteins. Which structures are found in the typical prokaryotic cells and also in the typical plant cells? Cell walls. Cell walls are present in both the prokaryotic cells in some cases, but in the plant cells it is always present. Histones are not present always, telomeres and telomeres, they are not always present, but cell wall is always present in the both. Which structures are found in the typical eukaryotic cells? Typical eukaryotic cells. 70s ribosomes is present in their mitochondria, yes. In, the, in their whole, their own ribosomes are, which are present in the cytoplasm are ATS and the linear DNA chromosomes is present in the nucleus. Circular DNA can be present in the mitochondria. So we can say that all the options are correct. So 75, MCQ number 75 goes for option E. The table shows the comparison between the two features of a typical eukaryotic cell and a Prokaryotic cells. Which one shows the correct comparison between the cells? Right. We have to find out whether all the uh, with which particular option is correct here. Presence of centromeres. It is present in eukaryotic cell, but no, but absent in prokaryotic cell. It is telomeres are present in eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. They are absent. So we find out that the option number B is correct.
which row could actually show the feature of a cell structure which row could actually show the feature of a cell structure site of the protein synthesis they are the ribosomes and make libos lysosomes lysosomes are always produced in the golgi body so we find out that option number b is correct four students were asked to make the function with the appearance of some cell structures in an animal cell the functions were listed by a number organizers a microtube used to produce the spindle during the cell division synthesis of the polypeptides packaging of the hydrolytic enzymes that were remain in the cell these the appearances were listed by a letter v stands for membranes which surround an enclosed inner cavity w stands for non membrane bound skeletal structures are double membrane with many pores and y stands for non membrane cylindrical structures z stands for membrane bound sacs arranged as a flatter sac so which student could actually match the numbered functions with the appearance on the cell structure <laughs> So we find out that in this case the option number C is correct. The feature of the some cells and the cell structures that make the ATP are the cell has an outer boundary membrane and fold in folded inner membranes. Has prepared of like a cell wall outside and an outer boundary membrane has a double boundary membrane and a sac for inner membranes when i read out all the options and i find out that the option number d is correct because one states for it mitochondria has a boundary membrane and folded inner membranes yes it is it goes for mitochondria and the has a peptide of like a cell wall this goes for bacteria and the double membrane is organelle and stacks of inner membranes it it is present in the chloroplasts that stacks of inner membranes that grana or thanakar membranes so option number d is correct mitochondria are thought to have evolved from the prokaryotic cells that were ingested by an ancestral cell which features have these prokaryotes lost during this evolution in the mitochondria cell walls but mitochondria do not have cell wall it has circular chromosome Yes, inner membranes, ribosomes. Yes, but so option number A is correct here. It do not have any cell wall. The electron micrograph shows the part of a eukaryotic cell. Which cell structure is the site of the protein synthesis? As we can see, this these small tiny granules spread throughout the cell. So they are the ribosomes. They are responsible for the protein synthesis. So. We can say that option number B is correct here. Now move towards MCQ number eighty-two. Some stains can be used to identify the cell structures in the living cells. A dilute solution of the one stain causes the whole cell to appear blue. The blue color rapidly disappears in most cell structures. These cell structures that releases the energy stay blue. Energy means ATP, and ATP is only released in the case of the mitochondria. So we can say that the mitochondria is the only structure which stays blue. Option number B is going to be correct here. A molecule of the carbon dioxide is in the center of the mitochondria. Assuming there are no other cell structures in its path, how many phospholipid layers will the carbon dioxide gas molecule have to pass through in order to make the path? It has to pass through the double membrane of the mitochondria, then pass through the double membrane of the cell, double cell membrane, and if there is a cell wall present, so it has to pass also from it. So, on rough estimate, we can say that option number C is correct here. The carbon dioxide gas has to pass through the six layers. in the roughly estimate to go through to leave the cell right so i will finish my lecture till here meet you in the next lecture till then allah hafiz